in in Missouri, Todd Aiken, long-term member of the House of Representatives, a very, very good personal friend of mine, was asked by a local news uh, uh, source, uh, radio interview, I think, about uh, rape, and he said, look, uh, in a legitimate rape situation, and what he meant by legitimate rape was this, look, someone can say I was raped, uh, I, you know, I, I, I scared to death, a uh, 15 year old uh, that becomes impregnated by a boyfriend uh, and then has to tell her parents, uh, you know, that's pretty tough. Uh, and might, on, on some occasion, say, hey, I was right. That's what he meant when he said legitimate right versus non legitimate right. I don't find anything so horrible about that. But then he went on and said that. Uh, in a situation of rape, of a legitimate rape, a woman's body has a way of shutting down so that pregnancy would not occur. He's partly right on that. I'm an OBGYN doctor. I've been an OBGYN doctor for a long time, uh, since 1975. And I've delivered lots of babies, and I know about these things. It is true. We tell infertile couples all the time that are having trouble conceiving because of not the woman not ovulating, just relax. Drink a glass of wine. Uh, and, and don't be so tense and uptight because all that adrenaline can cause you not to ovulate. So he was partially right, wasn't he? But the, the, the fact that uh, a woman may have already ovulated 12 hours before she is raped. Uh, you, you're not going to prevent a pregnancy there by a woman's body shutting the thing down because the horse has already left the barn, so to speak. 